stealth aircraft represent the pinnacle of technological advancement in aviation. With their sleek designs, these planes can operate in contested airspace with reduced risk of detection and interception. So for today's video, I'm unveiling the top 15 most sophisticated stealth planes in the world. Starting with number 15, the F-22 Raptor. All right, kicking off this list is one of the most formidable predators in the sky, the FA-22 Raptor. It was developed by Lockheed Martin. It's well known for being one of the world's most advanced and formidable fifth-generation fighter aircraft. It's equipped with cutting-edge tech. It combines unparalleled stealth capability with impressive maneuverability, speed, and agility. Its design minimizes its radar cross-section, enabling it to penetrate even the most sophisticated enemy air defense. And with its powerful Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, the Raptor can achieve supersonic speeds without afterburners, giving it a significant tactical advantage in both speed and fuel efficiency. Now, this feature allows for swift deployment and rapid response to emerging threats, making it a crucial asset in both offensive and defensive ops. And when it's soaring high above, the thrust vectoring nozzles allows for unmatched maneuverability, allowing the craft to perform complex aerial maneuvers and maintain a tactical advantage. Since 2021, the F-22 has been observed conducting tests with a fresh chrome-styled surface coating. This lustrous exterior seems to shift in color depending on the observer's position relative to the aircraft. Now, experts speculate that this innovative coating aims to decrease the F-22's susceptibility to detection by infrared tracking systems, including IRST and missiles. The Raptor made its maiden flight in 2005 and has since served as the benchmark for an entire generation of fighters while laying the groundwork for things to come. Number 14. The F-117 Nighthawk the revolutionary F-117 Nighthawk was developed in the 1970s by Lockheed Corporation's Skunk Works Division in response to the United States Air Force's requirement for a stealth aircraft capable of evading sophisticated enemy air defense. With its origins shrouded in secrecy, the F-117 Nighthawk made its maiden flight in 1981, marking the inception of a new era in military aviation. Setting the stage for subsequent stealth fighters, the Nighthawk redefined aerial warfare by introducing a radical design that minimized its radar cross-section, rendering it virtually invisible to radar systems. Its reduced infrared signature achieved through innovative engine exhaust configs, it's also got a reduced infrared signature achieved through an innovative engine exhaust configuration and careful heat management that also further enhances its ability to operate covertly. Equipped with a variety of precision-guided munitions, the Nighthawk played a pivotal role in modern warfare. Its armament included laser-guided bombs, such as the GBU-10 and GBU-27, enabling it to conduct pinpoint strikes with exceptional accuracy. Moreover, the aircraft was outfitted with a sophisticated navigation and targeting system that facilitate precise target acquisition. The F-117 notably participated in several significant military campaigns, including the 1989 United States invasion of Panama, the 1991 Gulf War, and the 99 NATO-led Operation Allied Force in the former Yugoslavia. Now, despite its groundbreaking tech and strategic contributions to modern warfare, the Nighthawk was officially retired from active service in 2008, marking the end of an illustrious era in stealth aviation, while still opening the door for the next gen. Number 13. The Chengdu J-20 The Chengdu J-20, also known as the Mighty Dragon, was developed by China's Chengdu Aerospace Corp. The development of the J-20 commenced in the early 2000s as part of China's ambition to establish itself as a formidable force in global aerospace. Conducting its first flight in 2011, the J-20's emergence signaled China's determination to compete with other advanced stealth aircraft on the international stage. Now, the J-20 integrates several key features that contribute to its superior stealth capability. Its sleek and angular airframe paired with a radar absorbent material diminishes its radar cross-section, rendering it less visible to enemy radar. It employs this innovative, divertless supersonic inlet, allowing it to achieve speeds of up to Mach 2 with a simplified intake design, simultaneously enhancing its stealth capability. Notably, experts have highlighted the J-20's DSI as a factor that reduces the necessity for radar absorbent materials. The aircraft's also equipped with a removable radar reflector, known as a Lundberg lens, positioned underneath, which amplifies radar returns and conceals the authentic radar signal. Notably, the 2021 production model features a re-engineered retractable emitter for improved functionality. Now, in terms of missile loadout, it can carry four medium to long-range AAMs in its primary bay and one short-range missile in each lateral weapons bay. Now, there is potential for a staggered arrangement of six PL-15 missiles on future missile rail launchers as well. 
Though the J-20 usually carries its weapons internally, it does feature four hardpoints on the wings for auxiliary fuel tanks, which can extend its range. Number 12. BAE Systems Tempest The BAE Systems Tempest, a forthcoming sixth-generation fighter aircraft, is currently in development in the UK, intended for future service in the Royal Air Force starting in 2035. It's set to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon gradually. The Tempest forms a key component of the future combat air system program, led by Team Tempest. It's composed of the Ministry of Defense, BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo, and MBDA UK. The British government has allocated 2 billion euros for the initial phase of the project and slated to continue in 2025. The Tempest is designed with modularity in mind, allowing for easy adaptation to specific mission requirements and seamless component upgrades throughout its lifespan. Supporting delta wings and outward-pointing vertical stabilizers, it's set to integrate cutting-edge stealth tech and possess the capability for unmanned flight, as well as the utilization of swarming technology to control drones. Artificial intelligence, deep learning will be a core feature too, alongside the incorporation of directed energy weapons. The aircraft is going to be equipped with cooperative engagement capability, facilitating data sharing and communication with other aircraft for coordinated actions. The Tempest is going to showcase a virtual cockpit displayed on a pilot's helmet-mounted Striker 2 unit, while its adaptive cycle engine will leverage composite materials and advanced manufacturing processes to achieve lightweight construction and efficient thermal management without inflating costs. In terms of power generation, the Tempest 2 generators will deliver substantially more electrical power than the Typhoons, with one of them serving as an electrical starter, eliminating the need for a separate mechanical or compressed air starting system for the engine. The Tempest's AI will act as a gatekeeper, managing the influx of sensor data to prevent information overload for the pilot. Number 11. The Su-75 Checkmate The Su-75 Checkmate It's a fifth-generation lightweight tactical fighter aircraft developed by the Russian United Aircraft Corporation. It's introduced in 2021. The Checkmate's designed to bring Russia up to speed when it comes to air dominance. It's anticipated to cater to both domestic and international markets, presenting a competitive alternative to other contemporary fighter jets in its class. The Su-75 Checkmate incorporates various design elements aimed at reducing its radar signature, such as the divertless supersonic inlet, V-tail, and internal weapon bays. It's been suggested that the fighter's ample wing area indicates its capability to operate at high altitudes, potentially exceeding 40,000 feet. Its angular ventral inlet shares similarities with the DSI concept, initially introduced in the Boeing X-32, providing a mechanically simpler and cost-effective alternative to conventional designs like the McConnell Douglas F-15 or Sukhoi Su-27. Designed for extended operational ranges, the Checkmate is equipped to fly over 1,800 miles, can carry a payload of over 16,000 pounds, and achieve speeds between Mach 1.8 and Mach 2. Its armament includes an internal weapons bay capable of accommodating five missiles and an autocannon. Now, recent patents highlight modifications to the fuselage, sides, strakes, and air intakes aimed at further reducing the aircraft's radar signature. The Checkmate's also expected to feature the Saturn Idesli 30 engine, renowned for its reduced weight and increased efficiency compared to its predecessors. The cockpit layout, akin to the Su-57, incorporates a glass cockpit with two 15-inch main multifunctional LCD displays and a wide-angle heads-up display. Number 10. The RQ-170 Sentinel The Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel, affectionately known as the Wraith, is an unmanned aerial vehicle developed by Lockheed Martin and utilized by the United States Air Force on behalf of the Central Intelligence Agency. While specific information regarding the UAV's configs and capabilities remains limited, defense analysts suggest that it's got stealth features and is equipped with advanced aerial reconnaissance tech. The Sentinel was first unveiled in 2007 and saw deployment in Afghanistan later that same year, followed by its introduction in South Korea in September of 2009. Following Iran's capture of an RQ-170 in 2011, some images and details of the aircraft were publicly disclosed. Characterized by its flying wing design, the RQ-170 is powered by a single engine, suspected to be either a General Electric TF-34 turbofan or a Garrett TFE-731. The RQ-170's distinct flying wing design houses a single engine, the specifics of which remain classified. In 2009, Aviation Week estimated its wingspan to be approximately 66 feet, surpassing the takeoff weight of the RQ-3 Dark Star at 8,500 pounds. 
Notably, the design deviates from standard stealth engineering practices, lacking that zigzag edge landing gear doors and sharp leading edges, with the wing failing to shield the exhaust. The medium gray exterior suggests a mid-altitude operational ceiling likely not surpassing 50,000 feet, as darker hues are typically employed for concealment at higher altitudes. Now, these specifications hint at the potential use of a GETF-34 engine or a variant within the airframe. After Iran claimed to have downed an RQ-170 near the Afghan border in December 2011, Iranian television broadcasted video footage of an advanced unmanned U.S. aircraft bearing a striking resemblance to the RQ-170 UAV. Iranian Revolutionary Guard members disclosed the aircraft's dimensions, citing a wingspan of approximately 85 feet, a height of about 6 feet, and a length of 15 feet. Number 9. The KF-21 Borame the Kai KF-21 Borame, previously known as KF-X, spearheads an ambitious fighter aircraft development initiative led by South Korea, with a joint aim to furnish the South Korean and Indonesian Air Forces with a cutting-edge multi-role fighter. Boasting a claimed stealthiness surpassing that of any fourth-gen fighter, the KF-X, although currently lacking internal weapons bays akin to fifth-generation fighters, plans to potentially incorporate them during subsequent phases of development. In April 2021, the program reached a significant milestone with the completion and unveiling of the first prototype during a highly anticipated rollout ceremony at Kai's headquarters, located in Sechon Airport. The aircraft was officially christened Borame, a term in Korean signifying Young Hawk or Fighting Hawk, embodying the spirit of tenacity and strength. The maiden test flight took place on July 19, 2022, marking a pivotal step forward in the program's timeline, with plans for mass production set to commence in 2026, anticipating the delivery of at least 40 units by 2028. South Korea envisions deploying a total of 120 of them by 2032, solidifying its commitment to bolstering national defense. The program's initial objective centered on crafting a single-seat twin-engine multi-role fighter equipped with stealth capabilities surpassing the Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon but failing short of those boasted by the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. Guidance from the Weapons Systems Concept Development and Application Research Center at Kongkuk University emphasized the necessity for the KFX to outperform the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The versatile weaponry of this aircraft includes a 20mm M61A2 Vulcan rotary autocannon for formidable air-to-air -air combat, accompanied by a total of 10 hardpoints, six of which are located under the wings and four under the fuselage, allowing for a range of customizable armaments. Its missile capabilities are equally impressive, featuring an array of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship missiles. Number 8. Boeing Bird of Prey the Boeing Bird of Prey emerged as a clandestine aircraft serving as a platform to showcase the marvels of stealth technology during the 1990s. It was backed by $67 million in funding, and it served as a relatively economical venture, focusing on the development of cutting-edge materials and technology that would later find application in Boeing's X-45 unmanned combat air vehicle. This top-secret project, not only officially designated as an X-plane, primarily functioned as a technology demonstrator and never had plans for mass production. Crafted within the confines of Area 51, yep, that Area 51, the Bird of Prey took its name from the infamous Klingon Bird of Prey warship featured in the Star Trek series. In its maiden flight in 1996, it marked the beginning of 39 subsequent flights, culminating in the program's conclusion in 1999. The aircraft's design aimed to minimize shadows and is rumored to have been instrumental in the testing of active camouflage, an intriguing feature that would allow its surfaces to adapt in color and luminosity, blending in seamlessly with the surroundings. Notably, the Bird of Prey opted for a commercial off-the-shelf turbofan engine and manual hydraulic controls instead of the more sophisticated fly-by-wire systems. Now, this choice streamlined development timelines and significantly curtailed costs, a departure from the computerized controls that would be typical of a production aircraft. With its aerodynamic stability akin to the SR-71 Blackbird, it set a precedent for future tailless stealth unmanned aerial vehicles such as the X-45 and X-47, using drag rudders for yaw control. Initially masked under the designation YF-118G, the Bird of Prey was unveiled to the public on October 18, 2002. Its legacy endures, as it now stands as a proud exhibit at the National Museum of the United States Air Force, perched in the modern flight gallery alongside the iconic F-22 Raptor. Moving on to number 7, the DRDO Gatak. 
The Gatak, a resounding moniker of the autonomous jet-powered stealthy unmanned combat air vehicle, is currently under development by the Aeronautical Defense Establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization for the Indian Air Force. This cutting-edge project, previously tentatively titled the Autonomous Unmanned Research Aircraft, has captured attention for its potential to redefine modern aerial combat with its advanced capability. And just to put this stealth aircraft into perspective, Gatak literally translates to deadly in Hindi. Envisioned to possess an internal weapons bay, the Gatak UCAV will boast the revolutionary flying wing concept and be driven by a robust turbofan. Progressing swiftly, a scaled-down testbed successfully took flight in July of 2022, with plans for a full-scale prototype flight by 2025, marking a significant milestone in India's foray into advanced unmanned aerial vehicles. Delving deeper into the Gatak's intricacies, it becomes apparent that the project's details remain classified, shrouding the aircraft in an aura of intrigue and, well, stealth. Intended to be a trailblazing endeavor of national importance, the Gatak UCAV is propelled by a dry variant of the Kaveri afterburning turbofan engine, generating an impressive thrust of 52,000 newtons, as disclosed by Defense Minister Manohar Parakar in 2015. Powered by an Indian-developed flight control system and data link packages, the UCAV project is a collaborative effort involving Aeronautical Defense Agency, the ADA, and the Defense Electronics Application Laboratory. A culmination of private sector participation, this initiative embodies India's concerted push towards self-sufficiency in advanced aviation. With its recent maiden flight in July of 2022, the Swift UAV showcased its autonomy and dexterity, positioning itself as a frontrunner in the world of advanced unmanned aerial vehicles. As this ambitious project continues to unfold, the Gatak remains a symbol of India's unwavering commitment to technological prowess and national security. Number 6. The B-2 Spirit the American heavy strategic bomber known as the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, affectionately termed the Stealth Bomber, is renowned for its cutting-edge, low-observable stealth technology. It was meticulously designed to navigate dense anti-aircraft defenses with finesse. With its distinctive subsonic flying wing structure and accommodating crew of two, the aircraft's development and production spanned from 1987 to 2000, under the guidance of Northrop Grumman. The B-2 is equipped to deploy an array of armaments, including conventional and thermonuclear weapons. This arsenal includes the capability to carry an impressive payload, such as up to 80 500-pound Class Mark 82 JDAM GPS-guided bombs, or a formidable set of 16 2400-pound P-83 nuclear bombs. Now, notably, the B-2 stands as the sole acknowledged in-service aircraft capable of accommodating large air-to-surface standoff weapons within its sleek and stealthy configuration. Now, speaking of stealth, the B-2 stealth capabilities combine a series of measures to minimize the aircraft's acoustic, infrared, visual, and radar signatures, effectively evading various detection systems. By reducing the need for support aircraft to provide cover, perform suppression of enemy air defenses, and conduct electronic countermeasures, the B-2 serves as what's called a force multiplier. Now, notably, the B-2 has yet to encounter any instances of missile launch attempts. For daylight flights, the B-2 is painted in an anti-reflective coating, significantly reducing its optical visibility. Now, given its high-flying altitude capability at around 50,000 feet, the dark gray coloring of the undersides of the aircraft seamlessly blend into the sky. Now, to preserve the stealth coating, the B-2 is stored in a specialized air-conditioned hangar worth about 5 million bucks. Every seven years, the coating is meticulously removed using crystallized wheat starch, allowing thorough inspections of the aircraft's surfaces for any signs of damage or imperfections. Number 5. The FAXX the FAXX stands as a developmental initiative and procurement program intended for the future sixth-generation air superiority fighter set to replace the U.S. Navy's F-A-18 EF Super Hornet and supplement the F-35C, with the transition scheduled to begin in the 2030s. Envisioned as a cornerstone of cutting-edge military strategy, this next-generation aircraft will operate seamlessly alongside the F-35C Lightning II and U-Class unmanned aircraft, specifically engineered to navigate complex anti-access area denial environments. 
Drawing on a powerful blend of super cruise capabilities and revolutionary stealth attributes, the XX will boast an array of state-of-the-art sensors, radars, and adaptable networking features, all designed to unlock unparalleled agility and operational prowess. As the FA-18 Super Hornets are expected to approach the end of their service life by the end of the 2030s, the FAXX initiative is positioned to revolutionize the Navy's aerial combat. The development outlook hints at an array of next-gen tech, including the integration of advanced sensor connectivity and cutting-edge smart skins with embedded electronics. Moreover, an open architecture framework will enable dynamic configuration of sensors, payloads, and weapons, seamlessly accommodating diverse mission profiles across various ops. To underscore its technological supremacy, this project aims to introduce a range of innovative propulsion systems in collaboration with the U.S. Air Force, propelling the craft's performance to unprecedented heights. While speed and stealth remain pivotal, another focus will be on deploying an extensive arsenal of advanced weaponry, harnessing the potency of next-gen missiles and sophisticated cyber warfare platforms. An operational unmanned autonomous operation capability has been flagged, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the future of combat dynamics. Moreover, the aircraft's readiness for deployment on Navy Nimitz-class and Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carriers underscores its adaptability. The fact that these stealth fighters are looking to replace some of the best fighters in the air today speaks volumes about its potential. Number 4. NGAD Short for Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD is the U.S. Air Force Sixth Generation Fighter Initiative. The end goal here is to create what they call a family of systems to eventually supersede the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. A manned fighter aircraft is the centerpiece program of the initiative and has been referred to as the Penetrating Counter Air, and it's supported by the unmanned Loyal Wingman platforms. Science fiction is quickly becoming a reality here. DARPA completed its Air Dominance Initiative study in March of 2014 and in 2015 launched the Aerospace Innovation Initiative to develop X-Plane prototypes to demonstrate technology for future aircraft. The NGAD aims to develop certain key techs in areas like jet propulsion, stealth, advanced weaponry, digital design, and thermal management of the aircraft's signature. When this aircraft debuts, hopefully at the end of the decade, it's going to be the most formidable fighter ever made. The program changes traditional Air Force acquisition by the separation of design, production, and support functions in the development process with a whopping $9 billion budget through 2025. More frequent industry competitions and simulations in the design and manufacturing process are characteristic of this development program, and NGAD serves as the centerpiece of the aforementioned family of systems, with the other parts of the network likely to be unmanned escort aircraft to carry extra munitions and perform other missions, meaning the robot army is here. Just hope that they're the good guys. In particular, NGAD aims to develop a system that addresses operational needs of the Pacific Theater of Operations, where current UASF fighters lack sufficient range and payload. Air Force commanders have noted that there may be two variants of NGAD, with one long range and payload for the Indo-Pacific, and one more oriented to the relatively short ranges between possible battle areas in Europe. The NGAD fighter is expected to leverage the adaptive cycle engines being developed under the Adaptive Engine Transition Program and Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion Program, with flight-ready engines expected as soon as 2025. Although one day they will be replaced by the NGAD fighters, the U.S. Air Force's F-22 have already begun testing a lot of this future tech with various levels of success. Number 3. The SR-71 Blackbird the Lockheed SR-71, fondly known as the Blackbird or Habu, is easily one of the greatest American stealth fighters of all time. Developed during the 1960s as a covert project under Lockheed's Skunk Works division, the SR-71's awesome design and deadly capability laid the foundation for just about every plane we've seen so far today. This marvel of engineering based on the Lockheed A-12 was initially intended as a bomber before evolving into a dedicated reconnaissance aircraft for the United States Air Force. With a striking dark blue, almost black finish that earned it the iconic nickname of Blackbird, the SR-71 was designed to soar at speeds exceeding Mach 3, cementing its position as the fastest and highest flying operational manned aircraft of its time. The design incorporated strategic elements of stealth, exemplified by its minimized radar cross-section and the ability to operate at extreme altitudes, making it virtually invulnerable to enemy interception efforts. 
Its remarkable capacity to outpace surface-to-air missiles and enemy interceptors, coupled with its intricate countermeasures, solidified its status as a true bird of prey. It was unveiled to the public in 1964, and it mesmerized aviation enthusiasts with its record-breaking achievements, including reaching an altitude record of 85,069 feet and an absolute speed record of 1,905.81 knots. The aircraft's reputation for agility and speed was further highlighted by pilot Brian Schull's daring flight over Libya in 1986, where he pushed the aircraft to surpass Mach 3.5 to evade a missile showcasing its unparalleled maneuverability and speed. The SR-71 was not only a pioneer in speed and altitude, but also a record holder for its exceptional transatlantic flight, covering the distance from New York to London in a mere 1 hour 54 minutes. No one flew higher and no one flew faster than the Blackbird. It was such an awesome craft that during its service life, no SR-71 was ever shot down. After its retirement in 1990, the SR-71 found a permanent home at the Smithsonian Institution's Stephen F. Uvdar Hazy Center. Number 2. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II The Lockheed Martin F-35 are the ultimate American show of force, offering a breathtaking fusion of a single-seat, single-engine dominance. Designed to conquer all weather conditions with ease, these stealth multi-role combat aircraft redefined the rules of engagement. In addition to their formidable air superiority and strike capability, the F-35 Lightning II fleet boasts a remarkable suite of electronic warfare functions, as well as top-notch intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and stealth capability. The cutting-edge APG-81 radar is the crown jewel of this advanced system, boasting electronic scanning for unparalleled beam agility and high-performance capability. With an array of air-to-air -air and strike modes as well as top-of-the-line synthetic aperture radar or SAR capability, it offers multiple target tracking at an incredible range of over 80 nautical miles. The APG-81 radar's uniquely tilted back antenna design not only ensures optimal performance, but it also contributes to the aircraft's stealth, guaranteeing that this radar is always a step ahead. Complementing this powerful radar is the revolutionary new AAQ-37 distributed aperture system, equipped with six infrared sensors that work to provide comprehensive missile launch warning and target tracking capability. Meanwhile, the ASQ-239 Barracuda Electronic Warfare System takes center stage with its state-of-the-art suite of 10 radio frequency antennas embedded strategically across the wing and tail. This comprehensive system ensures all-aspect radar warning reception, along with cutting-edge sensor fusion for radio frequency and infrared tracking functions. With its geolocation threat targeting, multi-spectral image countermeasures, this system acts as a powerful self-defense mechanism against incoming missiles, providing a virtually impenetrable shield. Moreover, the electro-optical targeting system is a key player, stealthily nestled internally behind a faceted low-observable window under the aircraft's nose. Here, it seamlessly executes an array of critical functions, including laser targeting, forward-looking infrared and long-range infrared search and tracking, ensuring no target goes unnoticed or untargeted. This impressive array of systems, communication, navigation, and identification operate using various cutting-edge physical links, including the ultra-secretive multifunction advanced data link system. This is designed to maintain low observability while facilitating high-level communication. This suite ensures that every platform stays seamlessly connected and informed, all without compromising the critical element of stealth. Number 1. The B-21 Raider the highly anticipated Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider stands as the cornerstone of the future of the United States Air Force. Spearheaded by Northrop Grumman, the strategic stealth bomber is the focal point of the prestigious Long-Range Strike Bomber Program, promising to revolutionize the landscape of long-range stealth intercontinental strategic capability for the United States Air Force. With a focus on delivering both conventional and thermonuclear weapons, the B-21 Raider is set to elevate the Air Force's capabilities to new heights. Projected to take over the roles of the venerable Rockwell B-1 Lancer and the iconic Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit by 2040, the B-21 Raider represents the next phase in the Air Force's strategic vision. The B-21 Raider pays homage to the Doolittle Raid of World War II, where the heroic actions of 80 volunteers led by Lt. Col. James Jimmy Doolittle and 16 B-25 Mitchell medium bombers shifted the course of the war in the Pacific. 
The enduring spirit of the Doolittle Raiders serves as the inspiration behind the name of the B-21 Raider, symbolizing a legacy of bravery and progress in United States air superiority. The B-21 Raider marks the culmination of over three decades of groundbreaking stealth and strike technology. With a continuous push for technological advancement, Northrop Grumman is employing innovative manufacturing techniques and materials to ensure the B-21 outmaneuvers anti-access and aerial denial systems, delivering unparalleled stealth performance. A successful demonstration by Northrop Grumman and the Air Force showcased the seamless migration of B-21 ground systems data to a cloud environment. This achievement, including the development of the deployed B-21 Digital Twin, promises enhanced aircraft maintainability and sustainability at a reduced cost. Not much else is known about the B-21 Raider, but one thing's for sure, when it finally hits the skies, it's gonna blow the competition out of the water. I'll see you guys next time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos. Thank you to our channel members.